Hey, Aspire families. I'm Scott Barclay, along with my wife, Donna. We're uh, the owners of Aspire here, and this isn't typically what we would come to see on a day like today, but it's kind of quiet, and we're not ex used to this. But you know what? Three weeks ago, on March 17th, as we faced the growing threat of the spread of COVID-19, my wife, Donna, and I, along with our leadership team, made the decision to temporarily close our doors to business as usual. That decision forced many of other subsequent decisions that needed to be made in the following week. We decided then to continue to pay all of our employees through March 28th, while keeping as many staff on the payroll as possible and maintaining their benefits, hopefully until we get back up and running again. This time will come to an end, and when it does, we have a transition plan to gradually reopen Aspire and get your kids back to where they love to be and doing what they love doing. And for most of us, of course, just couldn't come fast enough. We look forward to welcoming you all back to a fun, structured activity where your child can continue to grow when it's safe to do so. We will continue to prioritize our safety of our staff and our families while balancing all the voices that we continually hear out there. It's a hard time. But just as many of you have taken a big hit as families, so is Aspire. So we put our collective crazy staff heads together to do everything possible to ensure the survival of Aspire through this time so we can continue to provide a place where your kids can grow and learn. Our focus right now is to keep your child engaged and connected in many ways as we work behind the scenes with plans to sustain ourselves until we get back to normal. We're even taking time to prepare for new things to be in place when we reopen. But I'm so proud of our many coaches who continue to show how much they really care about their students by taking daily routines and putting them on line workouts, continuing to develop specialized home lesson plans and challenges and uh, the fun ways they've been able to keep all our kids challenged. Well, there have been a variety of really fun warm-ups and workouts for all levels. Heck, tune in some Sunday, uh, one of our family workouts, and you just might see yours truly right there, giving it my best effort. It may not be pretty, but I'm there. And I even hear some of our kids have actually learned some new skills these past two weeks. Very proud to hear that, and so fun. While we can't predict tomorrow, we do know that this will pass at some point, and we just want to make sure our kids are looking forward to getting back, and at the same time, making sure they have something to come back to. So while we wait out this painful time together, we hopefully find ourselves spending more quality time with family, learning to be creative, and learning how to roll with change. I just want to encourage you as families to take advantage of our daily workouts led by our coaches. They are free and they're there to help you guys out. Although there's no way we can predict the future, it is on us to make the best informed assumptions and make decisions to control what we can. This is testing us all, but working together, of course, from my optimistic coaching point of view, we're gonna come out of this stronger and better together. After consider, uh, consideration and um, thinking through things, I feel confident that the actions we're taking are most beneficial. We are so thankful for the continued support of our families who join us online, stay connected and enrolled with no fees or payments until we reopen, mind you. So you will be ready to swing back into things with us when the time is right. Your support makes all the difference to us to keep us motivated and going. Like my uncle would always say to me, keep your nose clean. And what our Surgeon General says now, keep your hands clean, boys and girls. We're in this together. Hope to see you soon.